Hello and welcome to Computer Tech TV. This is a follow-up video to the Thermalrite HR02 passive heatsink unboxing. In this video I'd like to go over a little more detail about this cooler and some of the stuff that comes with it. Uh, first off you're looking at all the stuff that's included minus the assembly manual and the manifest. Basically what you're looking at here on the left you have the magnetic Phillips screwdriver and then you have 140 millimeter fan clips, 120 millimeter fan clips, you have four anti-vibration strips, two gram tube of Chill Factor 3 thermal paste, a thermal right sticker, and you have your 775, 1156, and 1366 backplate, insulating washers, your risers, your top plate, this is a 775 uh, back plate piece. This goes right in there. And then to secure this top plate you have four thumb screws here. And then this is what they call their pressure adjustment mounting plate. This basically mounts on top of this top plate in between the heat sink and the motherboard. And basically use this wrench here and you can adjust this to tighten anywhere from 40 to 70 pounds of additional pressure to help seat this heat sink and get the best thermal transfer you possibly can. Now, moving on to the heat sink itself here, um, if you look at this, this is very large, and these, all these fins are designed specifically to be on a passive cooler and to get the most amount of air and heat off of the CPU as possible. They have a convex base to put all the pressure right in the middle of the CPU. You have six centered six millimeter heat pipes and this whole thing is nickel plated. These are aluminum fins. As you can see, there's our six heat pipes there and they're actually staggered to get the best flow through there and the best efficiency and uh, this actually weighs in at 860 grams with just the heat sink itself so it's a very hefty unit and that is why they have optimized this base design here to secure this without having any problems with flexing or breaking of the motherboard uh, if you look here at the back plate this is adjustable you got your 775 in the middle and then your 1156 and then your 1366 all the way on the outside and then you have your little insulating washers which you would place on here and then you basically put this through on the back side of your motherboard and what you do screw these on top of that these both have little silicone washers there to prevent any kind of uh, metal to motherboard contact and this would mount on top of that and then you would mount heat sink here and then you would mount pressure adjustment valve on top of there and then you can adjust from there or just leave it be and be at the factory set pressure there. Um, another thing to note is um, when mounting on 775's you're going to need to use this little back plate cap here. They call it the um, yeah the back plate cap and basically I guess this is provides better support since the 1156 and the 1366 motherboards have a quite a bit larger um, base plate that they use to mount their heat sinks with. So that is a detailed look at basically how this uh, heat sink mounts and um, Overall pros and cons of this, uh, pros of course are it's from Thermal Right. it works great, even fanless this heat sink can keep up with some of the best on the market. Um, it's very big, it can either be quiet or you can mount a 120 or 140 millimeter fan. Um, very simple to install, fits all the Intel sockets, uh, comes with thermal paste and a case badge and the magnetic Phillips screwdriver, so that's great. Some of the cons are, uh, it is a little bit more on the, the pricey side, but you definitely get what you paid for. Um, 
it's very big so it might not fit in some cases and it might uh, actually hinder uh, putting in certain cables or stuff like that but if you want really good cooling that's what some of the things that you have to um, you know live by uh, other than that the only downsides I can see it does not fit AMD I'm sure that they might make something aftermarket to fit that uh, another thing is I've heard that this uh, pressure adjustment mount can actually you can tighten it to the point where it can actually damage your motherboard or CPU I have not personally seen anybody uh, have this issue but it's one of those rumors that floats around so always be careful with that um, and other than that uh, this is just a really great CPU cooler especially the fact that you can run it passive or with a fan and it just it looks amazing oh another thing I forgot to include was this is actually made to fit closer to the exhaust fan on your case so if you're running this passive or if you're running it with a fan you can set it up to where it will sit say your exhaust fans back here you can have it sit like this and basically it will sit closer there so uh, that about wraps it up guys um, stay tuned I will have another video where I'm at, I actually install this into my computer and do a comparison test between this and a stock Intel cooler and um, thanks a lot for watching guys stay tuned please check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already and please comment and rate this video you guys all have a great day this is Rick Arter out. See you guys around.